first thing I wanted to talk about real quickly here is our new Easy Setup app. Some of you may have seen this, some of you may have not. It is currently available on both iOS and Android and is uh, currently, of course, available in both the App Store and the Play Store. So it is uh, available for you to download currently if you haven't yet. And the idea behind this is for you to be able to have, uh, let's say for lack of a better term, one of your entry level or junior level installers go out to a job and set up a wireless router or, or more of a you know medium to basic network and be able to do it very very quickly now of course it's not just uh confined to uh junior level guys anyone can use this of course uh we've had uh, the owners of companies and the guys that have been doing this for 20 years that have uh, found this app to be very useful because it does make things very very quick so what this is is it is a uh, setup app meant for our 1200 and 3150 wireless routers and uh, there's a couple things that you do want to be aware of when you're going to use this app first of all again because it's easy setup this is intended to be used when you're setting up a router for the first time so because of that the router does need to be in a factory defaulted state which of course it's going to be if you're just pulling it out of the box to install it into this this home or this business and what we mean by factory default state is the SSIDs being broadcast have to be this, the default, you know, Luxel uh, 3150 or Luxel 3155 g for example, uh, with no password on them because that is what the app looks for. And then the firmware has to be 631 or higher, which is going to be fairly easy because that is what the routers are shipping with uh, coming out of the uh, warehouse currently. Now, there is a newer update, which uh, a lot of the newer uh, wireless routers are going to have by default on them, which is 642. And uh, we'll talk about how you can get to that here in just a moment. But if, you're, if your router isn't in a factory default state, I bring this up because the app will not be able to find the router and, and set it up properly. And you'll be back to the standard method of, uh, you know, going into the web user interface, which, of course, you still can do at any time. So let me go through this app real quick and show you how easy it is. Now, the caveat to this is that this app, I know it won't seem like it as we go through it, but when you go through the process, it literally is a two minute process. And again, the whole idea with this was to be able to enable you to be able to take a router out of the box and two to two and a half minutes later, have a network up and running. And that's exactly what we've been able to accomplish. So we're really excited about this. So the first screen that's gonna come up is it's going to be three instructions that say, please do this before you go any further. And of course it is connect to the network cable from your modem to the internet port on the router, make sure the modem is powered on and working, and then turn the power on of your Luxel router and wait for it to boot up. Once those things are done, you hit next, and the app will now try to connect to the uh, router automatically. Now the neat thing about this is it doesn't matter whether your phone or tablet has Wi-Fi turned on or not. If your phone does not have Wi-Fi turned on, it will automatically turn it on for you, find the router, and connect to it. So it literally is a seamless process from start to finish. Uh, of course, when it finds the router, it will ask you, do you see the 2.4 and 5 gig lights flashing rapidly on the front of the unit? And this is a very obvious flash. I mean, they are in unison, they are very quick. It is obvious that they are flashing together. And the reason that we did this is because we do have a number of dealers, of course, that will have several routers out for several jobs and they will be uh, configuring them at their office. And uh, you obviously wanna know that you're connected to the proper one so that you're not configuring one uh, in a way that uh, is gonna be taken to the wrong job site. Now, most of the time that's not a big deal, but it's just an indication that yes, you are connected to the router and everything's good. And like I said, it is a very obvious flash that this is what's going on. So you hit yes, and it will then ask you to set your administrator password. Now, this is the regular password that uh, you're used to when you bring up a web interface and it, you have to type in admin and admin to get in as default. This changes that admin password if you want to. Of course, you can just type in admin and continue on, or you can change it to whatever it is you would like to do right there. And as soon as you do, the uh, next will go from gray to green, and uh, you'll be able to continue on with that. The next thing screen you'll see is it'll say you're connected. 
let's make sure the router has the latest firmware. Now, one thing to note here is it will go out and find the router uh, or find the firmware in the cloud if there is one to be updated, and it will do all of this automatically, just like if you click the update firmware button inside the user interface. What this uh, tries to do is make sure that you're on the latest firmware all the time. So two things here. Number one, if you click next, uh, or, or when you click next, I should say, it will tell you either an update is found and wait a few minutes while the uh, update is applied. So it will now go to the cloud, pull the update down, install the firmware on the router, and reboot the router. That does change the process from about a two-minute process to about a six-minute process. So you're still not talking a whole long uh, period of time, maybe seven minutes at the very most, but uh, you're still not talking a whole lot of time. But just so that you know, obviously with the uh, upload or downloading and installing a new firmware, there is a little bit of uh, increased time there, of course. It will tell you that uh, it's being applied, and then it will tell you that uh, it's reconnecting once the uh, router has uh, applied the update and is, uh, has rebooted, and now your uh, device is connecting back to it. If there is no update found because you are on the latest firmware, then the screen you will get is this, which says already up to date. And uh, you'll be set to go and you'll be able to just click next and move on. This is where you can actually add additional APs because remember the wireless routers do have our wireless controller built into them for active roaming and for ease of configuration and central management. So if you are going to be adding access points into this network onto this router, it prompts you this is the time to plug them in and uh, let the uh, access points come up and uh, allow them to be attached. Of course, if you aren't adding, adding any APs, you can just uh, click next and skip this step. What's going to happen if you are adding access points is there is now a new auto add feature for the access points. And we'll talk about more about this in a moment but it will actually allow the access points to boot up, find the controller, and automatically uh, connect themselves to the controller that's inside that router. So it's really a very seamless automatic process. The next screen is setting up your 2.4 gigahertz network, and this is where you can type in whatever SSID and password that you want. It does default to WPA2 uh, automatically so that you already have some security set in. Once you type in whatever you want your SSID and password to be, you will notice off on the right-hand side of each one of those lines, there is a green check mark. And that only shows up once you have fulfilled the qualification of having enough characters uh, that are in each one of those fields for both SSID and passphrase. Once those two green check marks show up, the next button will turn again from gray to green, and you'll be able to uh, move forward. Then the next screen is the ability to change the five gigahertz if you want. Now you notice it will auto populate these fields for you with the same username and password that you just put into the first uh, field for the 2.4, but it will add 5G to it. Now, of course, you can modify that in any way that you want to. You can get rid of the 5G and have the 2.4 and 5 named the same. You can completely uh, erase the entire 5 gig SSID and name it something completely different, both SSID and password if you want to. It's completely customizable for whatever you want to do for that particular network. But it does auto-populate for you if you want to make it fast and easy. Once it's set the way that you want it to be, you click Next. It will then apply the changes to the network, both the router and all of the access points if they've already been attached. And then uh, at the end, it will say, congratulations, you're all done. That's literally it. It's seriously about a two minute process at most. The cool thing about this is you do have the ability to send this information and document it. So if you click the network info button right there, it will give you information about what you just set up to that or on that network. And then based upon whatever type of communication apps are in your phone, whether it's email, text, uh, you know, chat of some sort, uh, whether it's WhatsApp or whatever it is that you happen to be using, whatever is available in your phone to communicate, uh, you can now share that information via that method. So if you need to email it back to 
the home office so that you have a, a document of it or a record of it and somebody can put that in the file for this customer, then you can absolutely do that. Just email it off to whoever you need to and you're done. The new setup button, of course, takes you back to the beginning screen if you needed to set up another router at the same time without closing the app. But once everything's done, you're good to go. And uh, that's it. That's the easy setup app.